And even when are you just gonna forget about her and just get Teresa out of your mind? Ethan, Ethan, please, sweetheart, please don't leave oh, the baby me, and I need Ethan, you. take the plunge. You know you want to. I'm sorry. I can't fight fate. Ethan, Ethan, no, no, no. After la vista, loser. Come on, baby. I need you to oil me up. Oil her? Um, Gwen, I am sorry, but I gotta go. Ethan, Ethan, wait, Ethan! <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, right. uh, <sighs> Can't get a grip. Teresa is 3,000 miles away and nowhere near Ethan. This is the last time that I am going to ask. So who is that woman singing, and what does she mean to you? I told you. Julian, I don't buy that she is just some singer that you like. I mean, the look on your face when you're listening to her sing. I mean, you are more into her voice on that tape than you are into me when we're playing the daddy and the babysitter game. So who is she, huh? Who's my competition? Thank God TC went to work off his frustrations at the youth center and stayed at home with Liz. Do, do you really think that your own sister's going to try to steal T.C. away from you? There is no doubt in my mind. I guess I'm just going to have to trust that T.C. loves me enough to resist the temptation. Liz, this, this has to stop. Why, T.C.? You want me as much as I want you. This can't happen, Liz. It just can't happen. I don't care what Grace's silly game predicts. I'm sure that we're going to have a baby boy. Well, as long as he or she is healthy, I'm going to be one happy dad. <laughs> well, get ready, because I think he's going to be here very soon. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you snatch Sheridan's baby from downstairs and pass it off as your own, oh, I never would have believed it. 
My wacko daughter just may pull this very sick, twisted stunt off. <sighs> you can look, but you can't touch. <laughs> I'm begging you, please, give me back my child. No can do. I, well, I could, but I won't. <laughs> nah, it's my kid now. Hey, you want to say goodbye or not? Because last time you were going to lay eyes on the babe. Please don't do this to my baby. That's not like it's going to suffer bodily harm. You were the only one slated to die. wrong with me? Oh, my life is as close to perfect as it could possibly be. For once, the little homewrecker is not a threat to my marriage, yet I am still having nightmares about her. I really cannot let Teresa get to me this way. I should be thinking about all the things that I have to be grateful for. Loving husband, beautiful, beautiful baby on the way. That's my pride and joy, though. Oh, the best. Absolutely. I wanted to um, thank you for making me the happiest man alive. I, for the first time, I have a family, a real family that is made up of the people that I love the most. And thank you so much for, for sticking by me when I didn't know what I was doing with Teresa and you. Can you ever forgive me for that? Sweetheart, of course. Listen, that is all in the past. I love you so much, and I am going to make it all up to you by being the best husband and father in the world. Well, you already are. Something. Happy anniversary, sweetie. <laughs> oh, Ethan. <laughs> this... This is a symbol of my undying love for you. And I would marry you today, all over again, if I could. Because that is how much I adore you. Now that is the kind of dream I should be having. No more Teresa. Just me, Ethan, and you, little baby. from the City of Angels, live from L.A. Tonight's Night on the Beach. Tonight, we're outside the famed Marina Restaurant, the spot to be if you are young, beautiful, and hot. Back after this short commercial. Did you see that guy they just showed? The one in the major lip lock? Honey, I'm gonna call in and ask for his home phone number. <laughs> he, he looked really familiar to me. <laughs> or in your dreams. I mean it. I could swear... I know who he reminds me of. Who? The patient in 1145's husband. Gwen Winthrop? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, he did sort of look like him, but it couldn't be. That wasn't his wife he was kissing, and they said the broadcast was live. Well, do you see Hubby anywhere around here right now? Why couldn't he be out the beach? No. All I'm saying is our patient better not turn on her TV tonight. Not if she doesn't want the shock of her life.
You cannot possibly be so cruel as to take a newborn baby away from its mother. A child deserves its mommy. It deserves her warmth and her love. Yeah. Cry me a river. I know what I'm talking about. My mother died when I was so young. It was terrible growing up without her. There was always this void inside of me that no one else could fill. You know, you always look for something to fill that space, to erase the pain, but you cannot replace a child's mother. You just can't. I told you, your kid's gonna have a mommy, it's just not gonna be you. So you quit your whining, and you say your goodbyes, because I, I don't have all night. I wish there was something I could say to put your mind at ease. Well, thanks, Hank. I just wish I knew for sure where Sheridan was. I mean, it kind of scares me that I couldn't find one trace of her in Paris whatsoever. And on the other hand, I feel like I've been a jerk to Luis. I mean, he's been saying all along that he thought Sheridan was kidnapped, and I... I don't know, it's almost like he knows Sheridan better than I do, and I'm her husband. I can't wait to present you with your son. Son? Well, I'll be something. And I promise I'm gonna make up for all the time that you've had to spend on your own during this pregnancy, right? I promise I'm not even gonna leave you for a minute until you have the baby. Not even for one minute? Because I think my mother needs me. All right, one minute. One minute. What is it, mother? Did you come up with some new ways to spoil my baby shower? <gasps> oh, Bethy, I don't need to Bethy boo. <laughs> no, when you go down, you're gonna do that all on your own. Cause how are you planning to pass off Sheridan's baby when Louise won't leave your side till after you give birth? I see you just, you just enjoy your little party as long as it lasts. <laughs> because it'll be the last party you'll ever have. You know, I really don't appreciate your tone, Rebecca. Well, and I don't appreciate you listening to her crooning every time you have five seconds to yourself. It's insulting. I want to know who she is, and I demand to know her name now. I can't tell you. Well, you better tell me, or you and little Julian are going to be all alone tonight. I'm sorry, but it's none of your business. Fine. Keep your dirty little secrets to yourself. But I hate her voice. I hate everything about her. Don't you dare give me this. TC, please, don't pull away. Liz, I am a happily married man. No, you're not. I'm sorry, TC, but it's true. If you were really happy with Eve, that kiss we just shared wouldn't have happened, would it? I know, but... It... TC, think about it. You wouldn't be here taking out your anger and frustration on that punching bag. You would be at home with your wife talking over the day. How long has it been since you've done that? Well, Eve's a doctor and she has a very crazy schedule. TC, listen. I am the last person who would point a finger at anyone, especially someone like Eve. But heavy doctor schedule or not, it seems to me that Eve hasn't been quite as supportive of you and your feelings as she could be. Why would Whitney be in L.A. with Chad if she didn't get her mother's blessing? Damn it, I still don't understand how Eve just changed her mind and let Whitney go. I know. She knows how you feel about Whitney dropping her tennis career, and not to mention your problems with Chad. It just makes no sense. Right. Yet at this moment, Eve is partying with friends, and you're here with me. Oh, TC, there's a reason for this, and it is not your fault. Did you ever consider 
that maybe Eve is to blame for us being together right now. I wouldn't put anything past Liz as far as TC goes. But she couldn't track him down after you sent her. <laughs> you know what? You, you really don't have anything to worry about with TC. He loves you with all his heart. Eve, he's the last man that is going to stray from his wedding vows. I'm not worried about Louise, mother. Then you're an idiot. Besides being a kidnapper and a baby stealer, I just heard Louise say that he was not gonna leave your side for one minute till after you have that baby. So how are you gonna pull off the old switcheroo, huh, with Sheridan's newborn with Louise hovering over your shoulder? He has to go to work sometime, okay? So I'll just wait till he does, and then I will slip away and have this baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So what happens if you can't get rid of him for a couple of days, huh? I think even Louise can tell the difference between a newborn and a baby that's a couple of days old. So you better get going and have that baby or your goose is good. <laughs> what do you think about that, Miss Smarty Pants? <laughs> Please let me hold my baby one more time. Forget it. You're lucky I let you hold the brat at all. I don't want to get into attached to you. Why do you keep calling it it? I don't even know if my baby is a boy or girl. <laughs> what difference does it make? Not like you're playing mommy. You know, the less you know, the better. That's how I see it. Why are you doing this to me? And why, if you hate me so much, is my baby so important to you? <laughs> well, that's for me to know. You'll never to find out. <laughs> What's the third degree? The bottom line is, I got your kid, and there's nothing you can do about it. <gasps> Look, they're showing the beach lovers again. Well, it's not live this time, it's a replay. So what? It's still hot and heavy. And I could swear, that guy is Gwen Winthrop's husband. Well, he does look like him. It is him. Look at those gorgeous cheekbones anywhere. Oh, <laughs> he can't be. Well, they say everyone has a double. And besides, room 1145's hubby seems so attentive to her. Honey, those are the ones you have to watch out for. Mm. I say he's cheating on her. On national TV, no less. Dr. Abel said that if Mrs. Winthrop suffers any kind of a severe shock, she could lose her baby and her life. Maybe I'll watch the news, then I'll fall back asleep. Come in. Hi, Dr. Abel. I know it's late, but uh, I had to check on another patient down the hall, so I thought, if you were awake... Tell me you're going to release me, change your mind? Sorry. Even if I wanted to, no one goes home at this hour. I just thought that I would check your vital signs, and uh, that'll save us time tomorrow. Well, be my guest. My only plans are to watch the evening news. Hi. All I want to do is get out of here as quickly as I can so I can be with my wonderful husband. No, 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 don't, no, please, don't go. Not, no, not no, yet no, anyway. no, I have to, Teresa, I have to. Okay, I have to get away from you. No, I, no, please, not like this. Let's just talk first. If talking was all we were doing, that'd be one thing, but what happened here was wrong. It is not wrong for two people who love each other to kiss. Teresa, I am married. And you married Gwen because she got pregnant. Now, if that hadn't happened, we it's, would be together, it, it, look, right? Look, if doesn't count, okay? She's my wife. That's the fact. And we're having a baby. But you love me more, okay? And my son needs a father just as much. Teresa, your son already has a father. How can you, of all people, call Julian a father? My baby deserves you. Hey, did you hear that? Best sure that she's gonna have a baby boy. Now imagine that. I'm me, the father of a boy. 
Congratulations, Luis. Thanks. I just wish I knew if Sheridan was gonna have a boy or a girl, or if she's already had our baby. No. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. No, no, no. It's okay. I, I didn't mean to put a damper on your happiness. I just said I'm worried about Sheridan. I just want to know that she and our baby are okay. Once in your life, you may be right. I can't put off this delivery too much longer. Try the next couple of hours. You better be trading in that sack of shit and belly it around for our real baby, or we're all gonna wind up in that clink. And don't think I won't be singing my heart out to the authorities for a reduced sentence. Shh. Just let me think, okay? I've got to come up with a, a reason for Louise to leave my side long enough for me to have this baby. Quit your yapping. I can't think. My baby needs me. Yeah, like I trust you to give it back. I can take care of this. Shut up, will you? Something's wrong, I can tell. Yeah, what do you know about it? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing one of those lullabies. Yeah. Rock a bye, baby. Mama's gonna die. <laughs> Life could be worse, so I don't want to hear you cry. Damn, it's not working. I don't know if I jiggle it. Oh, don't jiggle it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you break you, something. You keep back. You've got no say in this whatsoever. Give me my baby. You are my passion for life. Give me that. I'm telling you, if you touch this again, you'll be sorry. I've never seen you like this. I mean, it's just a tape. What is wrong with you? It is my private property. You have no right to destroy it. Who is she? And what does she have that I don't have? Where should I begin? Character, grace, an inner as well as an outer beauty. Well, that's a fine way to talk to the woman you're going to marry. But you just gave yourself away. I know who she is now. You couldn't possibly know. Oh, I've dealt with her type all my life. She's just a cheap tart with a good act. Just one of your hundreds of dirty little sluts from the past. Don't you ever call her a slut again, do you hear me? Nobody's twisting your arm, do you see? You wanted to kiss me. You still do. No, Liz, this isn't right. I, I love Eve, and I can't do this anymore. Sorry, TC. I didn't mean to come on so strong. That's okay, Liz. It's not your fault. It's just that I thought that what happened between us the other night in your backyard meant something. Liz. It meant something to me. Liz, it did, but... I... You know, that first real kiss that we shared? It awakened something in me that I thought was long dead. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, it's obvious it meant nothing to you. Uh, or maybe you were just getting back at Eve because she's never around. take off. I, because maybe if I go now, I can catch TC at the youth center, and then we can have that talk. I'm sure he'd like that as much as you would. I hope you're right. I think I just need to catch up with TC before Liz does. The only thing that would get Louise's mind off of you having a baby is Sheridan. <laughs> and you're not going to produce her. <sighs> maybe not in the flesh. You've given me an idea. <gasps> Merciful angels, please. I'm sorry. I no, didn't mean I, to do that. I really I didn't. Think, I swear it. I think it's time that Luis took up his search for his beloved again. Have you lost your mind? Oh, yeah. 
Yep, you've lost your cut and pick in mind. Please just give me my baby. Fat chance, Blondie. All right, now you tick me off. Blood pressure is within normal range. Well, that is a relief. All I have to do is check the fetal monitor and then get both your heart rates, and I'll be out of your hair in time for Dateline. Thank you, Dr. Abel. Look, I, I don't I don't blame you. Okay, this is all my fault. I should have known better than to come anywhere near you tonight, but I have got to go. No, please. Don't leave me alone. Please. Sorry you had to see the two of them together. Thanks. Uh, who knows? It's probably better that I did, you know? That way at least I'm not gonna harbor any illusions about a future with Teresa. Um, no. You're not gonna give up, okay? I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> Whitney, I don't know what I would do without you. You're a true friend. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't even be in this pain if I hadn't encouraged you to go after my crazy best friend in the first place. No, no. I am really sorry. I'll get over it. Well, can you ever forgive me for trying to push the two of you together? Maybe. One condition. Anything you want. for Luis to go looking for Sharon because what if he finds her? And he'll know that you kidnapped her. He will know that you were planning to kill her and he will figure out that you were trying to pass her baby off as your own. Listen, I'm not the fool that you think I am, Mother. Huh. I know Sheridan is in the basement and I am not going to let Luis go down there and find her. Well, how do you plan on stopping him once he starts his, you know, house-to-house, top-to-bottom search? I can control the situation. Oh. No, you just, just watch. Where did Antonio get to? He was just right here. Yeah, I was going to give you a few minutes with your kid, but you blew it by being too grabby. Now you're going to have to die. Please, please, just let me hold my baby. I just want to hold my child. <laughs> Part of no way, don't you get? What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this to me and my tiny innocent baby? You know, I still don't understand why you took me from my home in the first place, and now you want to kill me? How can you live with yourself? How can you actually look at yourself in the mirror knowing what you've done? Please, it's not too late to reconsider to let me and my baby go. If you don't, I promise you, this will stay with you for the rest of your life. This will haunt you for the rest of your life. How many times are they going to show the same clip? <laughs> Haven't you learned how television works yet? If the powers that be get something on camera that they think will attract new viewers, they'll run it and rerun it till everybody's sick to death of it. I'm just scared Gwen Winthrop's gonna see it while she's here in the hospital. I'm sure that's her husband. I hate to say it, but better hers than mine. All right, that should do it, and I will check on you tomorrow. How am I? How's the baby? Both of you appear to be stable, but I'm glad we decided to keep you in the hospital where you can truly relax, away from all the pressures of the outside world. Well, doctor, I appreciate your concern, but I would be a lot more relaxed if I could sleep next to my husband tonight, away from you. All here. in good time, Mrs. Winthrop. I hope so. Oh, my God. What's, what's wrong? You're not supposed to get excited. Look at them. How could they do this? Help me. Okay, if you have to leave anyone, it should be Gwen. You love me. I could feel it from your kiss. It was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. 
It was the first right thing you've done since you married Gwen out of a feeling of responsibility. You should be with me. You should be with me and my son. He needs a father like you. He needs a, a father to love him, to, to guide him, to teach him right from wrong. Oh, I'm the last person that could teach him that, Teresa. I'm so ashamed at what I did here tonight. No, don't be ashamed, Ethan. You're the best. You're the most decent man I've ever met. You are the opposite of Julian. And I need you to help me fight for full custody. Wait a minute. I, I, I thought you already had custody from Julian. I thought he granted that to you already. Yeah, but I, I can't trust him. You know, he's capable of what, changing his mind on a whim. He, he's going to fight me tooth and nail for my little boy. And, and even if, if he doesn't, Alistair will. I mean, he's not going to let go of his grandson that easy, okay? And I, and I can't lose him. I just can't. I know. Look, I said I'd help you with the legal proceeding, but that is, that is where our relationship has to end. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't be anything more to you or your little baby boy. It's not, it's not fair to Gwen and, and the child that we're gonna have together. What about being fair to me and my little boy? He deserves a real father. He deserves to have you. And so do I. Dear God, you're in love with this woman, aren't you? If you must know, yes, I love her with all my heart and soul. Thought you're on your way out of here. Look, Eve, don't do this to yourself. TC loves you more than life itself. You know, you're going to stop by, surprise him at the youth center, and you're going to work all this out. And, and tomorrow it's going to be as if, like, this whole rift never happened. How naive can a woman be? You were just using me to make Eve jealous. No, Liz. <sighs> what else can it be, TC, when you're pushing me away tonight? It's all right. Don't feel bad. After all, it's me who should apologize to you for being so pushy, so forward. I'm so embarrassed. Liz, please, it's, it's not your fault. You shouldn't feel this way. Oh, easy for you to say, TC. I just made a complete fool of myself in front of somebody that I care deeply for. It's all right, TC. Don't, don't you worry. I will, um looking for a new place to live in the morning. Liz, no. Maybe I'll go back to St. Lisa's, even though I sold the hotel already. No, Liz. I... TC, <laughs> there's nothing worse than a rejected woman. I'm sorry, I don't mean for you to see me like this. Liz, I don't want to see you upset. I am so sorry. <laughs> You're not going to get away with this, you know. All criminals make mistakes. They get cocky and careless, and they leave behind clues that the police will find and they'll put together, if not immediately, then over time. And there are enough people out there who care about me, and they will not give up until they find me. And they'll find those clues, and they'll put them together, and they will lead them straight back to you. They'll save me and my baby. You'll see. something there? I was just looking for Antonio. He was here a minute ago. I think uh, he's headed towards the kitchen. Oh, okay. I know where Sheridan is. What? What are you talking about? I found proof right here in this house. Make me your bride. Or you can be a lovely bride yourself. In prison. 
I just want to know why Luis has my wife's engagement ring in his pocket. I'm not going to leave my wife and baby to be with you. See mommy. See mommy die. NBC asks, what's your favorite Conan moment? They call me mad. <laughs> they laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> NBC Sunday, 9.30, 8.30 central.